Hi, I'm Liz Dobson. I've been a motoring rider for about 25 years now. I know you think I started when I was a teenager, but I didn't. Actually, for the past eight and a half years, I was motoring editor for the New Zealand Herald until I left and I met up with Matt and we started at autumnews.co.nz. It's a motoring lifestyle website where we have bespoke content and it's all shot at this amazing farm that Matt owns in the west coast of the North Island, just out of Auckland. Um, hey Matt, how are you doing? Good Liz. Actually, we met here at the farm. Do you want to tell people about that? So Liz and I met at the launch of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Yeah. And I, we had a mutual friend, so I went up and said, hi Matt, how are you? And then what did you say to me? Well, I said to Liz that she had the job that I have always wanted, which was a motoring journalist. So I think I actually offered to Liz <laughs> that I could be her cadet. And now look what happened. <laughs> Not quite. Um, and tell us a little bit more about yourself as far as your career. So I actually trained as an accountant, but left the profession early on uh, and went into human resources. And so I founded the world's largest HR search firm. Okay. So pretty much everything I'm involved in is around the people space. But you've always had a passion for cars, haven't you? Tell them about your Bentley letter. It's great. Well, so I love cars. I've always loved cars since I was a little boy. And I collected every car magazine, uh, which I think my parents only threw out much to my horror several years ago. But I used to write to car companies trying to get every pamphlet imaginable. And when I was 15, I wrote to Bentley and was seeking out a pamphlet. Recently, I was with my parents and they showed me this letter. And in the letter, I said, one day I'm going to own a Bentley. And uh, I do now. Excellent, that's great. And um, what do you think is happening right now as we're coming out of COVID-19? What's going to happen in the motion world, do you reckon? Well, I think we're in for a lot of change. So EVs will become more popular. Mm. Yeah, at the moment in New Zealand, as you know, um, new EVs start from 60, which is quite expensive. But for the next couple of years, we're going to see more and more EVs coming into New Zealand. That price should go down likes of VW, etc. will push the price down, which will be great. We're in a great position in New Zealand for EVs. Um, now, with your business, you the new normal, as you, we all know, is working from home, but you're ahead of the trend. Tell everyone about that. So I have always had my companies exist as virtual um, businesses, and I think what we've been through in New Zealand through this period has had everyone virtual. And my greatest wish is that we don't just go back to being completely physical. Uh, in an office. Uh, so I think what I imagine is a bit more of a hybrid solution where people can be in an office, but they can also work from home. And I think the key thing is that leaders need to support and encourage this. And yeah. we need to get away from the approach that work is just done in an office. And what about some advice for the motoring companies? What do you think they should be looking to do? I think that it's important to value relationships. This is a really important time to be talking to those people that you care about and not so good of a time to be just doing general cold marketing. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else are you up to? Well, I'm training for an ultra marathon, okay. which I'm not sure is gonna be on. So that's the snowman race in Bhutan across the Himalayas. We'll find out about that, uh, that soon. You do ultra runs, don't you? you are, you've done quite a few. I did, so I think really, the ultra running, which I did in my um, early career years, shaped my thinking about how I didn't want to be in an office and also how we could think globally without physically needing to be um, together. Yeah. So I um, am quite out of the box in a lot of my ideas around that. Excellent. And what about some ideas that you have for Automuse? Well, I'm super excited by what lies ahead for Automuse, simply because we get to drive all the latest and greatest cars and hopefully I, that will stop me buying them as well. <laughs> but uh, really, we want to be different. So very much getting into people's garages around the country, hearing uh, interesting stories and telling those stories. Uh, I have a particular interest in the ultra modern, but also the classics. So the future and the past. So I'll be particularly looking at classics. Exactly. So go to autumnmuse.co.nz, subscribe, and um, see you later, family. Bye. Bye-bye.